Welcome to another video from RSK. In this video, you're going to learn about the stablecoin RDOC. We'll cover what RDOC is, why use it, and three ways to get RDOC. So let's get started. To understand RDOC and how it fits into the RSK ecosystem, you need to first understand what the RSK Infrastructure Framework is, or RIF for short. The RSK Infrastructure Framework is creating the building blocks to build a fully decentralized internet that enables decentralized sharing economies. Now, an important distinction to keep in mind is that RBTC is a transactional token that facilitates operations on the RSK network whereas the RIF token allows any token holder to consume the services that are compatible with RIF architecture. The RIF on chain dollar stablecoin, or RDOC, is one of the main assets on the RIF on chain DeFi platform. RIF on chain is powered by Money on Chain, a stablecoin and leverage token protocol which runs on RSK smart contracts. RDOC is a stablecoin in the RSK ecosystem that's pegged one to one to the US dollar and it's guaranteed by a smart contract. RDOC is a crypto collateralized stablecoin that uses the RIF token as collateral. So unlike the majority of other DeFi protocol stablecoins, where users are required to provide collateral or a collateralized debt position to borrow funds, such as in the competing Ether-backed decentralized stablecoin DAI, RDOC can be acquired by platform users directly by spending RIF, which is a unique feature that some users may prefer. Bitcoin and RIF are considered volatile assets compared to fiat currencies, which makes them harder to use as a unit of account for a risk-averse user. This is where RDOC fits in. RDOC plays a key role in the RIF on-chain DeFi platform, as it's designed to keep a steady store of value, solving the problem for volatility. RDOC can be transferred between users, and it can be used to purchase services and products, including dApps, that will be released on the RIF marketplace, for example, for named services or storage. More broadly though, stablecoins like RDOC bring the advantages of open public blockchains with the benefit of a volatility-free digital currency. Therefore, they're useful for applications like international remittances and cross-border payments, B2B payments and payments for goods and services between users, acting as a stable base to trade various assets against like Bitcoin, providing stable collateral in DeFi, and for storing your savings. There are three ways to get RDOC. One, have someone send it to you. Two, you can buy RDOC. Or three, you can mint it yourself. Let's take a closer look at each method. You can receive RDOC tokens from any user. For example, if someone pays you for goods and services or they pay you a salary. To receive RDOC, you need to set up a compatible wallet like MetaMask, Liquality, Nifty Wallet, or any wallet that supports Wallet Connect. Just share your address, but do remember, never share your private keys or your seed words. You can also buy RDOC on a DEX like RSK Swap or Tex, or on a swap app like Liquality Swap. And lastly, you can mint the tokens yourself using RIF as collateral. To mint RDOC, you need to connect to the RIF on-chain platform. You can access the platform at riff.moneyonchain.com. Note, before you can interact with the platform, you need to set up an RSK compatible wallet like Nifty Wallet, MetaMask, Wallet Connect, or Liquality. And you need to fund your wallet with RIF for minting and RBTC to pay for gas fees. You can mint RDOC using the Mint Redeem section on the RIF on chain platform. And you'll need to set an allowance regarding the amount of funds that you authorize the wallet to spend on minting. Note also that the platform charges a fee of 0.1 of the value in RIF. After you confirm the mint, your RDOC balance will be reflected in a few seconds and you have access to a USD pegged stablecoin on the RSK network. Thanks for watching. To learn more about stablecoins on the RSK ecosystem, check out our other videos.